why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. But there you have it. You know, Duncan... He started having the nightmares again. He told me that in private. He said it wouldn't be long before he'd go to Orzammar himself. I guess he got what he wanted. I just wish it had been something worthy of him. I know. Ending the blight should make this all worthwhile, right? Here, look at this. Do you know what this is? I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. A gentle flower? <laughs> no, I don't know that I'd put it that way. I guess it's a bit silly, isn't it? I just thought, here I am, doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. I thought maybe I could say something. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. Ha <laughs> ha, you won't land me that easily, woman. I know I'm quite the prize after all. No need to start crying on me or anything. I guess it was uh, just a stupid impulse. I don't know. Was it the wrong one? I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. Ha 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 called. Damn, she saw right through me. I'll be... <laughs> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops. Just to be uh, safe. You know how it is. Yes. Speak then. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. To answer a question. The Arishok asked, what is the blight? His curiosity, I am now here. Yes. I cannot go home. It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. Sitting, as you observed. It's what you asked. I did. 
Parshera, was there anything else? I am hardly surprised. Very well. As you wish. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. What about? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale? Oh, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. I... Have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair? It's very nice, and it suits you. Simple. Not like the elaborate hairstyles we wore in Orlé. They involved flowers, ribbons, jewels. One year, feathers were all the rage, and Lady Elise decided she needed to outdo everyone else, and actually wore live songbirds in her voluminous hair. The chirping was quite charming for a while, but you must realize, terrified little birdies often have loose bowels. Yes, I don't envy them. She never washed her hair. But I was trying to say something nice to you, wasn't I? Oh, forgive me. My mind wanders so. It's just that I... I feel so comfortable talking to you. Like I could say anything and you wouldn't judge me. Yes. Very much so. I haven't felt this close to anyone in a long time. I really enjoy your company. Thank you. I am honored that you feel that way. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Well now, I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin after all is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? To be truthful, I didn't even know the crows existed when I joined them. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased, for three sovereigns, I'm told, which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way, buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder. If you are poorly in your training, you die. Of course. You compete against your fellow assassins, and those who survive are rightfully proud of it. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect. It gets you wealth. It gets you women. And men. Or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. I fancy many things. I fancy things that are beautiful, and things that are strong. I fancy things that are dangerous and exciting. Would you be offended if I said I fancied you? Ah, that's too bad. I do so enjoy it when I get to be flirty. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. 
It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. <laughs> Eventually can be a very, very long time if one plays one's cards right. Come now, enough chit-chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. Yes. Oh, blast it. Yes. Uh. Yes. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Why dance at all? Why not sing? <laughs> what has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? How true. So says the shoe to the foot and the foot to the leg. We move as one, whether we like it or not. But if I am to guess, I would say Morrigan has discovered something. Something shocking that requires her defense. Yes? Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? It is a dance poor.